Hey y'all. How y'all doing? Um, happy Thursday in my world. Happy whenever you'll see this in your world, okay? Bien and Benito, me canal. Welcome back to my channel, if you know me. Thank you so much for coming back to see it, girl. I appreciate you. If you do not recognize this face right here, my bad. My name is Latrice. Nice to meet you. And this right here is Faith by Latrice. Yes, where faith is the muscle we exercise around here. Now let's get on into it, y'all. No to the dinner. Excuse my face. Um, we just gonna jump right on into it. Okay, so today, well, I started it yesterday. Um, Pastor Michael Todd, y'all might know who that is. Okay, he is the lead pastor of Transformation Church, and he's on like a book press promo tour for his book that just released or is about to release one of the two the point so i've watched so far one interview he had with anthony o'neill who's like the finance dude and now he's on another platform that i watch um dear future wifey podcast with literus wickfield i think that's his name pastor mike um if you ever see this, you didn't have to wreck me like this, but you did. It was really God who wrecked me, but he used you to do it. <laughs> Thanks. <coughs> Lateris asked him how he deals with all of the pressure and the, well, he didn't use the word pressure, but he lives his life out loud, Pastor Mike. And there's so many things I could say right now, but the point is he was talking about like where does he go to how does he manage all of the eyes being on him i'm paraphrasing the eyes being on him the criticism all this other stuff how does he manage to deal with that he said i can't go to places that have toxicity to get my nourishment i have to go to places that have fruit he said a lot of places we go to aren't good for us he gave and prior to saying that pastor mike said i don't go to my gas pump to drink Did you hear that? I don't go to my gas pump to drink. If I'm thirsty, if I'm parched, if I'm thirsty, I don't go to my gas pump to drink, right? I go to the gas station to put gas in my car so that I can go somewhere. So the gas helps the car go, but it's not going to help me if I'm thirsty. And he said a lot of places that we go to, they're not good for us, right? So I got to thinking, I was like, oh, Jesus, where do I go to for comfort? Where do I go to the disrespect where do i go to to feel good to feel better right a lot of us we're gonna say us because i'm involved <laughs> a lot of us will go to places that are toxic let's keep it real let's call a spade a spade it's toxic right be it certain relationships certain people maybe we've known them for a while maybe they're around us all the time whatever la 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 and we go to them just so we can feel good in the moment right or like myself, because he talked about this on this interview. We go to places like food, huh? Okay. I've said this out loud to people jokingly several times. I eat for fun. <laughs> I love food. I love to taste nice, yummy things. Mm. My sense of smell and taste are very much connected. We are all are for humans. But their mind are very much connected. And it does a little extra something to me. Mm. When I eat some good some Jamaican food or some whatever. Let me not get started. The point. A lot of places we, cho we choose to go to for comfort may not be good for us, right? Um, and we have to be mindful mm, of where we are going for comfort and when we are choosing to go that place. Jesus Christ. <sighs> Let me just read you a scripture real quick. So I can get up out of here and not just be wrecked. Jeremiah 17 and 7. Blessed is the man who trusts in the Lord, whose trust is in the Lord. He's like a tree planted by water that sends out its roots by the stream and does not fear when he comes, for its leaves remain green and is not anxious in the year of drought, for it does not cease to bear fruit, right? What is that saying? Be the one that goes to God if you believe in him, a higher source, a higher power, or just something that is actually going to nourish you. <laughs> That's actually going to be good for your body, taste good, feel good, all the things. And it doesn't deplete immediately after you have it. That's it. Going about your business. I hope somebody took something from this. Um, it's hot out here on this October. 
this Thursday in October. But anyway, si nadie te ha dicho hoy, esta día que te estoy hablando a ti mismo. If nobody has told you today, yes, you watching me right now, yes, you. Look at me in my eyes. I love you. Because mm -hmm. listen, life be living, show enough. But guess what? We are going to prosper regardless. Catch you on the flip side. Bye.